Do you know what Wireshark is? For those of you who are not familiar with it, let's start with a brief overview. Wireshark is the new name for Etherreal, which has been in existence for a number of years. Wireshark can be used on Linux, Unix, Windows, and other operating systems. Wireshark is a software protocol analyzer, or packet sniffer application, used for network troubleshooting, analysis, software and protocol development, and education. As data streams move over the network, Wireshark captures each protocol data unit, or PDU, and decodes its contents according to the appropriate RFC or other specifications. The network traffic is displayed in the Wireshark window for real-time or offline analysis. Wireshark comes with Eagle and Discovery servers. For more information and to download the program, go to www.wireshark.org. Understanding the network where Wireshark will be used is very important. For example, in a network where one or more hubs are used to connect network devices, every PDU on the wire will be accessible to Wireshark. The hub sends the PDUs to every connected port. Refer to the following figure. If the network employs switches, however, then the Wireshark computer only receives PDUs that are sent by it or addressed to it. A special configuration on Cisco switches called port monitoring or port mirroring permits a switch port to receive all traffic that goes through the switch. Now let's look at how to perform a basic PDU capture with Wireshark. When Wireshark is launched, the screen is displayed. First, go to the Capture menu and select the Options choice. The Options dialog window provides settings and filters to decide what and how many PDUs to capture. The following steps detail basic configuration settings. Step 1. Ensure that Wireshark is set to monitor the correct interface. The interface drop-down will list the network adapter in use. For a typical computer, this will be the connected Ethernet adapter. Step 2. Among the options available, capture in promiscuous mode is important. In promiscuous mode, every PDU that Wireshark receives will be captured. This mode is best used when analyzing traffic for the entire local area network, the LAN. Check this box to capture not only the traffic destined to your computer, but also all other traffic on the network. Step 3. Determine whether to update Wireshark window in real time. When this option is enabled, the Wireshark window displays PDUs as they are received. In networks with heavy traffic, dropped PDUs may result. Step 4. Hide the Capture Info dialog. The Capture Info dialog window displays statistical information such as PDU type and number of packets received. Step 5. Enable MAC name resolution. The first 24 bits of a MAC address are used for the network interface card manufacturer. Wireshark translates the numeric value to manufacturer. Go ahead and accept the default settings of ON. Step 6. Enable network name resolution. If desired, the network name is resolved from the IP address. This will slow down Wireshark captures and could result in dropped packets. Step 7. Enable transport name resolution. Wireshark can translate the well-known port addresses into a name. For example, port 80 traffic will be displayed as HTTP. Refer to the URL on the screen for a list of upper layer port numbers. Click on the Start button to initiate the data capture process. A message box displays the capture progress. As the data is captured, the number and type of PDUs are indicated. When sufficient traffic has been captured, click on the Stop button and the Wireshark main screen will appear with captured traffic.